How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Cody in the OU tier from the Discord server. He's got a pretty cool looking team. He's got the Ribombe, the Ogapon Wellspring, the Iron Moth, Goldengo, Diplin, and the Jirachi. So a lot of shenanigans that could go on there with the flinches from the Jirachi. The Diplin's physical bulk is incredible with the Eviolite and everything. Ogapon is also a big threat and Ribombe with the Sticky Web is going to be very helpful for them. So if we assume they're going to lead off with the Ribombe, we should lead off with something that can tackle that. I'm thinking Mamoswine with the Icicle Spear because obviously they're Focus Sash so we can just like hit him with for five times, four or five times KO them. I'm thinking that, but I'm also thinking Corviknight's a good one because we can then defog them straight away. Um... I'm, I'm actually leaning towards Corviknight, but at the same time, Mamoswine sat right there, and I, th I think I think Mamoswine's a good one. So let's go Mamoswine, and then we'll just kind of go from there. And the battle begins, so Cody's going to lead off with Ribombe as expected. Nice and shiny, gotta love it, as we lead off with Frosticles. The Mamoswine. So obviously we can Icicle Spear this thing into oblivion. They probably get the Sticky Web or Pive away. So let's go for it. Let's go for the Icicle Spear. And um, they do go for the Sticky Webs, which is great. Um, no Stun Spot. I literally just fought in my head then. What about Stun Spot, Jack? But we go for the Icicle Spear and that should... Uh, oh, actually. We need to hit all five times, I think. We need to hit all five times, I think. We do hit all five times thanks to the load of dice. And down goes Ribombe. Once the Sticky Webs are gone, they are gone for good. But we need to get rid of that Goldengo first. Jirachi comes in. And it's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Mine's shiny as well. I've got a shiny Jirachi. It's pretty cool. Um, so they probably go straight for that Iron Head right now or Meteor Mash. Um, I'm going to go Corviknight. Corviknight is probably the best bet. So we'll go Corviknight real quick. And this will probably bait out the Goldengo because obviously Defog being a thing. So let's go into Noctis, the Corviknight, the classic, the brilliant Corviknight. Iron Head comes through, it does nothing, we're going to get some Rocky Helmet chip on the Jirachi, which is great. So, like I said, they probably expect a Defog here, and I think it's in their best interest to keep the Sticky Webs around. So I know for a fact they're going to go into Goldengo right now, in which case I'm going to go for a U-turn. Um, they do withdraw the Jirachi. Are they going to go Goldengo as expected? Probably. Yeah, Goldengo comes in as expected. They always bring Goldengo in on the Corviknight because they just don't want them hazards being blown away. And it's a shiny Cor Goldengo as well. That's pretty awesome. Doesn't look any different, but, you know, it's, it, I wish I still had my texture mods on because I made a texture mod for shiny Goldengo and it looked amazing. So, um, anyway, Goldengo's in. This is a good opportunity for us to get Caesar's Edge off. Caesar's Edge hits everything on their team for decent damage except from the Diplin. Um, alternatively, we could go Iron Moth. Iron Moth is unrivaled as well, other than their own Iron Moth, and I guess to an extent their Ogre Pond. It can't really switch in on a sludge, uh, sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm going to go Hisuian um, Samurai, because I don't want to waste my booster energy on the Iron Moth just yet. I think it could be good for later. So, Sticky Webs is going to come through. There we go. Now, if we expect them to switch here, obviously, we're Focus Sash. They know we're probably Focus Sash, by the way, we brought it in. Or with Choice Scarf, in which case we outspeed. Um, so I think they're going to go ahead and switch out to Diplin. So I'm going to go for a Flip Turn. They go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt. Which is going to take us right down to our Sash. Which is a shame, because I could have gone for the Ceaseless Edge there. But I really thought Diplin was coming in. We go for the Flip Turn. Does some decent damage. And we'll have to save Samurott for later with the Sucker Punch shenanigans. Um, which could be useful. I, sh I should have just Ceaseless Edge, shouldn't I? But I, I really thought they would switch out there. Anyway. If we assume they're specs or something, we can go into Shaman right now. Shaman's a really good Pokemon right now because Earth Power hits everything really hard except from the Ogre Pond and the Diplin. Um, Diplin's not a specially defensive Pokemon, but it does have a respectable special defense with the Violite, um, which is good to note. So I'm going to go for the Earth Power. I'm just going to go straight for it. And um, why not? We can take and make it rain, no problem. They do withdraw the Golden out. They don't want to get hit by the Earth Power. And what are they going to go into? Diplin comes in. So Diplin is a good switch here. Nice and shiny as well. I love shiny Diplin. It looks so cool. So Earth Power comes through. There's nothing, as you would expect. And um, we are choice specs, and that still did nothing, which is crazy. So I don't really know what Diplin does, really. I, I know what I use Diplin for, but I don't know what people generally do Diplin for. So I'm going to go into my uh, Corviknight. So let's go ahead and do that. See what, the, the, see what set this Diplin is. So... Noctis comes in. There we go. They go for a Syrup Bomb. I can't remember what Syrup Bomb does. I know it's a cool animation, though. 
coming in sticky sun, he's candy syrup. And that lowers their speed because of mirror armor. Huh. Cool. So we go for a U-turn here. We are... Well, they are... We can't really do anything to Diplin. Brave Bird's going to bounce right off it. So we may as well just U-turn on out. It's something that can deal with it. There we go. U-turn goes out. It's super effective. Does nothing. And our best bet right now is probably the Iron Moth, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, Iron Moth or Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant is probably the best one, right? Yeah, Iron Valiant is probably the best one. So I'm going to go into Iron Valiant because Moonblast will definitely take out this Diplin. That's for sure. Caught in the sticky webs, which is really unfortunate. But... We do have that booster energy and speed, which is going to negate that. So we are back to neutral speed for now. And um, they go for a recover. It's going to boost their Diplin's health right back up to full. Diplin is a nightmare sometimes. I tell you what, it's a real nightmare. So um, I lose nothing from going for a Moonblast here, but I kind of want to expect the um, Goldengo to come in. But I'm also like, you know, let's just go for the Moonblast, get some shit damage off. So we go for the Moonblast, they stay in. Diplin nearly goes down, which is crazy. They go for a Syrup Bomb, which doesn't do much damage. But it's going to lower our speed, obviously, the next turn. There we go. Speed falls. Speed falls. So we go for another Moonblast anyway, just because why not? We should still outspeed this Diplin because they've got a speed drop as well. They are going to withdraw Diplin this turn. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go Goldengo? Jirachi comes in. So Jirachi is a respectable switch here. Jirachi obviously a, can be a big pain, but Moonblast chip damage is always welcome. So there we go. A bit of chip damage on them. Lowering the special attack? No, 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 no. Lowering the special attack today. So they are leftovers, which is good to note. I probably saw that earlier and I just didn't realize. Um, now we've got to make a choice. What do we switch in? I think Corviknight is the best switch because even if they U-turn on us, we still get Rocky Helmet chip, which is always nice. So we're just chipping away slowly. Chipping away at their team slowly. So let's go into Noctis real quick. There we go. They go for a Thunder Wave, which would have been very detrimental to my Iron Valiant, that's for sure. Um, now, we probably expect them to go ahead and switch out um, into Goldengo. So, we can make this opportunity, use this opportunity to go for the Samurott switch, um, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a U-turn, because they're probably going to go for a U-turn as well. Or they'll make a hard switch to avoid the Rocky Helmet damage, one of the two. They go for an Iron Head. They go straight for an Iron Head, which is obviously going to hurt them with Rocky Helmet. We go for a U-turn. No flinches, which is nice. Get some U-turn chip damage. And now it's time for Samurott to come in now. Because they haven't got Stealth Rock, so we can bring Samurott in, no problem. We just go for a Sucker Punch, and that'll take them out. Now, they might not expect the Sucker Punch, because not everyone runs Sucker Punch on Hitsui and Samurott. Um, sticky Webs are obviously a thing. I might just be sacking this Samurott off, to be honest with you. You never know, dear. You never know. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, they can't bring in the Goldengo. They kind of have to go into Diplin or something, so... I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch. There we go. They stayed in. Sucker Punch takes out the Jirachi. There we go. There we go. They didn't expect the Sucker Punch on the Samurai one bit. They could have gone into Diplin there and get a recover off. Although I think we still outspeed Diplin. In comes the Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond is a threat. Um, definitely a threat. I can't risk them going for a Sucker Punch uh, for a Swords Dance. So I'm going to go for a Ceaseless Edge. If they KO me, they KO me, and I go in something else. If they Swords Dance, we get a Ceaseless Edge off, which is going to be really useful, and then we suck a Punch. So let's go for the Ceaseless Edge real quick, just in case they Swords Dance. They do Swords Dance, as expected, which is great. We couldn't risk them going for a Swords Dance without getting some damage off. Ceaseless Edge comes through, which does just under half, which is a, a shame that it can't do more than that, but it is what it is. And we got some spikes up as well, which is great. So this turn, we're going to go for the Sucker Punch, expecting them to attack. They do attack. We Sucker Punch them in the face, leaving them susceptible later as they go for a Horn Leech to finish off Samurott. So Samurott put in the work today. Samurott put in the absolute work today. Took out the Jirachi and left the Ogre Pond in a very vulnerable position to where now all we need to do is go into Mama Swine. I shard this thing in the face and we're golden. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go into Mama Swine. There we go. Mama Swine's in. Mama Swine is in. Sticky webs are up. Which is going to hurt a bit. We are Terra Ice. So if we want the extra power, we can. If they Terra here, they might leave the Ice Shard. But I don't think they're going to Terra. So I'm going to go for the Ice Shard. They are going to Terra. They are going to Terra to live the Ice Shard. They might not live, actually, to be fair. We are loaded dice, though, not anything else. So they might live and get a Horn Leech off right now. So maybe we should have terrored. They get the embody aspect, which boosts their special defense, I believe. Yep, special defense. 
We go for the Ice Shard. It just narrowly avoids the KO as they go for a Synthesis, which is a real shame. This Ogapon is now ready to sweep. We're in a bit of a bind now. We are in a bit of a bind. So all I can think to do is to go into the Corviknight. That's all I can think to do, Corviknight. Um, do we let the Mammoth Swine go down first? Do, can we afford to... Because if they go for Ivy Cudgel... Hmm. I say we go for the Earthquake just in case they Swords Dance again. They go for a Horn Leech, which is going to take us out. Obviously, the Swords Danced up. They're getting back to full HP. So, we need to get rid of these Sticky Webs. That's what we need to do right now. Ivy Cudgel with Terra plus two is going to sting like mad. But I firmly believe that Noctis can take one. I believe Noctis can take one and go for a Defog. So I'm going to go for it. They go for another Swords Dance. No, now we can't take one. Now we can't take one. But at least we outspeed. At least... Oh. What a shame. What a shame. What a real shame. So we are Terra Water. And that's exactly what I'm going to have to do here. I didn't want to Terra Corviknight if I didn't have to. We're going to have to Terra Water and go for a Defog. We need to get rid of these Sticky Webs in order to win this game. We need to get rid of the Sticky Webs in order to win this game. So I'm going to have to Terra into a Terra Water type. And hope they don't read this and go for a Horn Leech. Because that would be annoying. But I'm confident they're going to go for an Ivy Cudgel right now. They go for another Swords Dance. They get into plus six. So now they can just Horn Leech us. Ugh. Defog comes through. So we have got a way to beat this. We have got a way to beat this. So Iron Valiant outspeeds naturally. Iron Valiant outspeeds naturally. We go for a U-turn here just in case we live. They go for a Horn Leech, which is obviously going to KO us. They're at plus, what, six now? But Rocky Helmet Chip is there, which is always helpful. So Noctis goes down, which is a shame. It's a real shame that Noctis couldn't pull that Defog off earlier. And then we could have U-turned this turn if we were going to Swords Dance again. Kept Noctis around, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're going Iron Valiant now, and we've got a little secret tech. We've got a little secret tech to take care of this Ogapon. So, we'll go for the Destiny Bond. Like I said, we should outspeed here. Destiny Bond comes through. And they won't Swords Dance again on us. They're definitely going to attack us. Horn Leech comes through, takes us out. But we got the Destiny Bond off, which is great tech for Iron Valiant. Really came in clutch for us there. As Iron Valiant does go down, but the uh, Destiny Bond should take Ogapon down with it. So there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ogapon goes down. So big threat averted. Oh, wow, what a roller coaster ride this game is. I can't believe we got fully paralyzed on the Defog. I mean, it, it got them an extra Swords Dance, but we, we, we dealt with it just fine. So they've got Iron Moth. Which is a shame. They've got Iron Moth, Goldengo, and they've got Diplin. They probably go into the Iron Moth here. I'm going to go into my own Iron Moth because it's going to have to be Iron Moth versus Iron Moth here. So there we go. Iron Moth comes in. They go into Diplin. Diplin? Why Diplin? Interesting. So Diplin's an interesting one. So Quark Drive is going to activate, which is going to boost our special attack. Um, we just go for an agility here. They could go for a syrup bomb, actually, so we don't want to lower our speed. So let's go for a fiery dance just to get see if we can get an extra special attack boost to win, win the 1v1 with their iron moth. Dipling goes down. There we go. Dipling goes down. Panic avert though. That ogre pond's going in the thumbnail. Because that was that was a panic. That was a panic. So Volker Robot comes in. I love that nickname. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. Nice and shiny. What's his Protosynthesis going to boot? Uh, quark Drive, sorry. Not Protosynthesis. Speed. So we've got the advantage with a special attack boost. We've got the advantage. So I'm going to go for another Fiery Dance. I know Sludge Wave's stronger, but I want to get the special attack boost. So they go ahead and go for a sludge, uh, Fiery Dance. Not going to work on us, I'm afraid. As uh, they do get the special attack boost, but we're just going to go for another Fiery Dance real quick. And that does way more. We got a crit. And we get a special attack boost alongside our Quark Drive boost. So let's go for another Fiery Dance real quick. There we go. They go for another Fiery Dance. We're just going to Fiery Dance off right now. Special attack boost once again as well. We go for a Fiery Dance of our own. There we go. Nearly gets the KO, which is great. Which means we don't even need another Fiery Dance. Well, I'm going to go for it anyway, just in case the Goldengo comes in. 
just in case. So they go for a sludge wave for the extra power. Actually takes us out. Okay, so, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we do not win that, that 1v1. No way. Which means we've lost because Shaman, unfortunately, can't outspeed the Iron Moth. We are specs, not scarfed. Let's go for the Earth Power just in case. I can't Terror or anything like that. They go for the Fiery Dance. That's obviously going to take out poor Shaman over here. As that's going to be the game. So, GG, Cody. That was a fun one. Really enjoyed that one. Really like a nail biter of a game. I've got to, got to say, that was a nail biter of a game. But anyway, here's the team. If you want to try it out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.